Friday. April the 19th. And we are working on cleaning up this back hill here behind the guest house. I was trimming up there a little bit down the fence. Then Dad was just trimming over here. He wants to get this tree down without destroying the chicken house. We took out the fences that were right here and all the junk that's been sitting around. And we are hopefully going to be putting chicken deer netting, I guess is what it is, along the boundaries of this field. So Lydia's chickens will be in their own sort of little pen out on this hill instead of being all over the yard and pooping wherever they go. We're still working on cleanup though. Okay, it is now Saturday, April the 20th. We've been working more, been trying to clean up some of the stuff that's been just sitting around. And then, earlier today, before lunch, we put up this heavy duty deer fencing. <clears throat> we attached it to the shop, then we were running it all the way down this way, so post here, just keeps coming, keeps going, so post there, and up to the edge of the property this point put a corner post and he put supports there so hopefully it doesn't fall over there's netting all along the east side another corner post And then, getting set up to finish the fencing. He's got the strings marked out. Has some wood posts that he screwed, that he screwed to a metal post. He's got another wood post screwed to a post here. He's got a somewhat of a corner post here. It kind of cuts down on the front of the hill, just outside this rock wall. A post there, then it'll run all the way down to a post down here. Kind of over these rocks. And to this corner post, where we used to have this fence running to that post and then across to about here. And so the deer netting's gonna come to here. Then she's somehow gonna probably put a post here and then cut, take it to the wall. So, and then cut a door out of it. Maybe like put a wood frame or something so it stays together. And the chicken pen will be done. She hasn't let them out yet today just because she wants to let them out. She doesn't want to let them out until this pasture is done. So I'm not sure if we'll get it done today or not because the netting is seven feet tall. Those posts are eight. So he's putting, he's making the net six feet tall. And then So there's gonna be a foot of excess on the ground. I guess the plan is to dig a trench on the outside of the fence and then bury the 
last foot of fencing so the chickens can't get underneath it. We took the mobile chicken house from down by the garden yesterday and we moved up here where Lydia's Hello. baby chicks are living. Alright, so right now we're attaching the top string on these posts. And this string is so we can zip tie the netting, the top of the netting to the string to keep it up. Hopefully the chickens don't go up the hill and come floating over. This twine we're using for our top and bottom cord. Maybe you didn't hear that. This twine we're using for our top and bottom cord is extremely tough, good for the job. But it's rather expensive because you have to buy a $85 bale of hay in order to get just four of them. Terrible deal for twine. And then you got that hay and what are you going to do with that? So. We just feed it to our cows. Luckily, they like hay. But, you know, some homeowners, I don't know what they do with that hay. Okay, he's attaching the last string, and then we can start putting the fencing on. You know what you're doing with you? It's okay to ask for help. At least on this side, the end of the roll came right here at the post. Whereas, as the end of the first roll, way over here, and we had to merge the two rolls, and Dad wound the string through the couple of rolls, which took quite a bit of time. So hopefully this last roll will go to a post somewhere where he doesn't have to tie it. Now what's it caught on?
this side of the Tying the tying the netting to the post. You get room. Why'd you make it too tall here? I'm put it on the ground, see what I got here. You guys hatch right here? 
You're done? I'm coming back with you. Just oh. Let me get a little bit higher. Okay, we have the netting put up here, and thankfully the end of the roll stretched to this post, so Dad didn't have to do any more sewing. And while he was showing Lydia how to do the trenching, we buried this right away, and we have the next roll rolled out down to the transportable chicken house and he's digging a trench right now and Lydia's working up there okay so for the most part this fencing is done all the fence is up uh, there still needs to do, be trenching and burying of the bottom parts along the side and then across the top. Dad and Wilson are finishing on some zip tie things. And Lydia let the chickens out. My dad let the chickens out. Dad let the chickens out. Chicky, chicky, chicky. So from now on, they shouldn't come outside these boundaries. The door is very simple. The rest of this netting is wrapped around this post, which has a little hook right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It comes out like that, and you just walk in. And just hook it back in there somehow. Okay, there you go. There's a lot of dirt, the wolf's playing that. Alrighty, that's about the end of this video. There's nothing really more to film. They're gonna be finishing trenching probably tomorrow. And since I probably won't get this video out till tomorrow, I wish everybody a happy
Happy Resurrection Sunday. Thanks for watching.